Parmigianino is one of these great mannerist artists. Now, he's going to seek out an elegance that he felt was missing from earlier works. He believes that basically when you start looking at reality, reality isn't as beautiful as it could be, and being a good mannerist, he's going to alter it in his own way. We're going to see that with the Madonna with the long neck. Now, this is an image of exquisite grace and arguably horrible sweetness. We have uh, this very odd mix. The whole thing has changed dramatically from the more realistic Madonnas that we've seen in the past. The long neck that we see on the Madonna is supposed to give her a sense of grace, along with the very small oval face, which is actually disproportionately small to the body. Remember, the head should be about one-seventh the length of the body, give or take. We see an unusually long frame and otherworldly attenuation of her hand, which is supposed to reflect a grace sought after in courtly manner and in later mannerism. The long figures and length of Mary bring a sophisticated beauty to the work. The idea is by elongating the form, they give it a sense of elegance and grace. Now, that's really kind of arguable when you start looking at what he's doing. We have a figure that is arguably not terribly human, but we're getting there. And if we compare this Madonna to one by Raphael, representative of the High Renaissance style, you see a vast difference. We go from something that's very realistic a woman who's interacting with Christ as a motherly figure to a mother who's interacting with a giant long baby, possibly Lex Luthor, it's unclear, but a giant long baby with this sort of elegance and grace. She's not interacting in a motherly way. The form has changed. The idea has changed. So now the artist is focusing on that very courtly viewer, that person who's looking for elegance and grace rather than that person who's looking for the naturalism that comes with motherhood, an aspect that we should see in a Madonna.